Hi, welcome to Jet Air Technologies. My name is Rob Miotti. With me today, as always, is Jay Prado. Today is our first ever share and ship. And what that means is when we're about to ship something out to a customer, a new product, we want to share it with you. And today we're talking about the Microjet dryer. Jay, could you introduce us to the Microjet? So this is actually one of my favorite machines, favorite new machines at Jet Air. There's plenty of favorite ones. And uh, we'll just kind of go over each of these components a little bit. So this right here, this is our blower. Believe it or not, this tiny little box is our enclosure for our blower. That's amazing. That's the whole thing. Stainless steel, it's going to keep uh, bad pollutants out and it's going to keep cool air moving over the blower. Amazing uh, welding job as well. Yeah, yeah, we have some really good welders in Ventura. This is the nozzle of the machine, so that's where the drying is going to occur. Then if we move over here a little bit, we're going to see our adjustability, and this is one of the key features of the machine. So this machine is able to have so many different levels of adjustment, up, down, left, right, in, out, and it's also got pitch. I wow. Mean, this can be placed for any job application it, nuke, cranny, whatever it is. So what kind of jobs, Jay? Ah, yes, I was ready for that question. Uh, you may have seen one of these before. I'm gonna have one of these after this today. Uh, one of the big applications is actually under crown drying. Okay. So water will get underneath this crown and it'll actually oxidize and rust out. Obviously, they're gonna reject that pallet. So this is a perfect system for that. This is able to, with the adjustment we just talked about, angle upwards or any other kind of way we need to, to get underneath that crown. Mm. So this is actually a, quite a common thing that's been happening. And then the other thing I have here, Tetra Pak. A lot of people are aware of that. There's date coating, typically either on the side or the top of the Tetra Pak, sometimes on the bottom. Either way, what's great about the machine, again, is while we were drying on this axis before, we can just rotate this down. Right. And now we're, we're ready to dry the tops of containers. Now, from uh, my experience, blowers require a lot of electricity. And this particular machine doesn't require as much electricity. Tell us a little bit about it. That's correct. So this machine actually only requires 120 single phase. Wow. So the hair dryer at home or any of your normal appliances, same plug. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, you don't need the large electrical outfitting team for this machine. You just need someone who can plug it in. No power drops. Yeah, and of course, as always, UL508 certified. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And an on and off switch at the bottom. Yeah, we hide that one from the operators. So. The other thing that uh, happens a lot with blowers is that they're very loud. Sometimes uh, 100 plus decibels, uh, as loud as a jet engine in some cases. Tell us a little bit about this power. Right, this is not a jet engine. Actually, the dB rating of this is only 77 dBA. It's quiet. It's very quiet. So for reference, that would be quieter than you listening to music in your car when you drive home. Oh, that's amazing. That's slightly louder than what I'm talking right now. Really? It's, it's quite incredible how quiet this machine is. And I'll bet you on a plant floor you can barely hear it with all the other noises yeah, going you're, on. you're not gonna hear this machine. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these were purchased by Clorox, I'm not sure if we said that before. They purchased one, tested it out, and then they turned right around and sent us a purchase order for 15 more. Yeah, it's a lot of microjets. Yeah, why so many, what do you think? Uh, well, we've been taking some guesses at that. So we know they're doing things like the coating that we spoke of and uh, some other secondary process stuff, but we also figured they're just using these to replace compressed air on the line. Mm. So there are many places where there may be a compressed air fan nozzle, they're just using these to stack up and, and use along their plant. And the bad thing about compressed air is it can have a lot of oil in it sometimes. These are, this air is really, really clean. Absolutely, blow-based air doesn't have the same problem that compressed air does. Not only that, and we haven't even really touched on this yet with the machine, it's far, far cheaper than oh, compressed air. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Jay, and thanks everybody for our first share and ship. We hope you're here for the next one.